Hey everybody, welcome back to the barbecue pad. It is Friday evening and I'm ready to get some barbecue cooking out here. So what we're gonna be doing today is some pork style, country style ribs. These are ribs that are cut out of a, uh, a pork roast into what looks like a big fat rib. A generally inexpensive cut of meat that you can buy pretty much any market that you go to. And so what I wanna do is cook them in my Dutch oven. We're gonna be putting them in the 12 inch Dutch oven there. But to start with, I wanna smoke them. <clears throat> this is one of the ways that I've been enjoying doing Dutch oven cooking is I've, I've showed this with uh, baby back ribs where we put them over here on the grill, fired them, charred them, and then put them over there in the Dutch oven and let them cook. Similar to the uh, that process, except we're gonna be using the pit barrel today. We've got some charcoal getting hot right now. All right, it's actually ready to dump in there. We got a charcoal basket half full of charcoal. I've got a piece of pecan wood in there. And so we're gonna be using a full size pit barrel. And what I wanted to do was go ahead and smoke these first. So we're gonna hang them in there, let them smoke. They won't be fully cooked to the final temperature, but I wanna get a good smoke on them. And then once we do that, I'll pull them out of the pit barrel and we're gonna set them over here in the 12 inch lodge camp oven. We'll put them in there and I plan on dicing up some onion. We'll have some onion in there with them and I'm gonna pour some barbecue sauce on there. Today we're gonna to be using the uh, KC Masterpiece uh, barbecue sauce. That's what I like. So we're gonna be doing that. Simple meal, uh, ribs with some onions. I'm probably gonna cook a pot of rice to go with that because that's how I like to eat my barbecue sometimes is with rice. So anyway, we'll show you along the way how it goes and hopefully this is gonna be a nice delicious meal on this Friday evening out here on the barbecue pad. I'm gonna try to give you a shot of one of my little processes for uh, putting the charcoal into the pit barrel because I like to lower mine down in there. So we'll go ahead and dump this side. You can see I didn't burn in all these because I want them to kind of burn over. I don't want full cooking temp on this. I want more of a lower smoking temp. And so I've got these guys right here, these hangers. I've actually got one that I made that I keep inside the uh, Pit, Pit Barrel Junior. These come out of uh, that char griller right there. These were the handles for the charcoal basket. Same exact thing. All right, use a welding glove and then go ahead and just spread them out a little bit there. Hook it in the middle and all you got to do is just pick it up. Just nice, slow, controlled movement. Don't get in a big hurry. Lower it down in there where you want it centered. Unhook it and pull it right on out of there. Just as easy as that. My hand's not burning on fire as long as you have a good, thick leather welding glove to do that. That'll work. These are our country style ribs that we're gonna be hanging. So we'll go ahead and set them in there. I did pre-season them using my all-purpose rub beforehand. I, they've been, um, I seasoned them, I don't know, two or three hours ago, put them in a bag and put them in the, uh, the fridge. So all we're gonna do is just simply hang them. And I'm gonna hang them opposite side of all the uh, charcoal that's lit. But anywhere you hang them, it'll be just fine. I'm just trying to help keep the temps a little bit lower if I can. And it helps if you hurry up and do this. You see the wood down there is starting to burn in. Let's just move these down a little bit more. Stand back because I don't want to breathe in all that smoke there. All right, but there you go. Go ahead and put the lid on. I'm gonna take my timer here, just hit start, so I'll know when it actually started cooking. So I expect to do these approximately an hour in the pit barrel. After about an hour, I'm gonna uh, look at them, observe them, see how tender they are, and check them with the temperature and see where they're at. And if they need to go a little further than that, then I'll just cook them a little bit longer. All right, so our ribs have been smoking for just over an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys. They are not fully cooked all the way, but we've got a nice, you can see the smoke coming out of there. And you see we haven't even burned all the way through to that other side. Let's go ahead and pull one of these guys out and we'll take a look at it. You see that's what it looks like there. Now these are not cooked all the way done. We are gonna finish them in the Dutch oven. So I'll show you, we'll take our thermopop there. And you can see we're around say 146 right there. 
So, but it's, they're smoked in nicely. So we'll go ahead and get all these pulled out and I'll show you what we're gonna do with the Dutch oven. All right, there's our ribs and here's our 12 inch lies. So what we've got, these are just some sliced onions right there. Put a little in the bottom to kind of make up as a natural trivet, just to keep the beef right off the bottom. Doesn't have to be like that, but that's just a technique I like to use. The extra onions will go on top. So we'll go ahead and we're just gonna layer these in here where try to get them to fit anyway in some form or fashion. Let's see if we can get them to squeeze together and uh, let's put the bone against the, the pot there. Let's see if we can squeeze this one down in there. I think we can do that. Just kind of squeeze them in there. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Trying to just get them all in one layer, if you know what I mean. All right. Ooh. We got our layer onions. We got our pork style ribs in there. All right. So now what we're going to do, this is what I'm going to be using the uh, KC Masterpiece. When it comes to a store bought barbecue sauce, this is one that I actually really like. I, I love the flavor of this, and I think it's just a, a good all around barbecue sauce for anything that you do. Mm, from Kansas City. And it's from KC. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. Thanks, baby. So I am going to do just this right here. I'm going to, I'm not going to be shy about it. I'm going to squirt some barbecue over all of them. Wow. Just like that. We're just going to cover it up with uh, barbecue sauce. Mm, it smells so good. It smells excellent. I'm just going to cover that little bit up right there and right there. All right. The flies are going nuts yeah. over this stuff. I'm just going to take the rest of my onions and just layer them over the top right here. Don't have to do this, but uh, I like the pork and onions myself. I think that's pretty good right about there. We'll put that guy right there. All right. So I'm going to take my all-purpose rub. I'm going to put just a little bit across the top. Just a little bit, just like that. And we are ready to fire off some charcoal and get these cooking in. Yes. We'll put the lid over. Flies can't get to it with the lid on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got our charcoal. It's uh, ready to go right there. I was gonna show you this. So we're also doing some vegetables. These are mostly for Abby, but I'll probably eat a few of them myself. But it's her, it's her veggies, cauliflower, broccoli, and mushrooms. Mixed in some olive oil and salt, pepper, garlic. So we're gonna be cooking those as well. So, oh, yep, that's hot. So let me get my glove. On the 12 inch, I typically run eight on the bottom. About like that. Put those guys back in there. Right over the coals like that. I'll take the rest, dump it on top. Oh, man down. That's why you always have your tongs ready to go. And so I usually light off, I think I mentioned this before, I usually light off a few extras just in case some of these break apart whenever I'm lighting them off. And then any extras that I don't need, I usually just put kind of around the pots. I'll show you what I mean. And this is usually why I have the glove on the other side, but I'm, I like using my right hand. See, that one's kind of broken up. So I'm gonna set that one down. And just kind of get one solid ring all the way around the rim of the pot here, about like that. And then extras, I'll usually go two, two, and then the extra one back here. You see, just like around the perimeter outside the pot. These, I'm going to scoot those in to where they're just kind of halfway around the radius, bottom radius of the pot right there. I'm going to squeeze through you right here. Make sure that one's in. So we are good to go. So that's about the configuration right there. One full spread across the top. 
usually a couple extras there on the side of the handle so I can get in there with my lid lifter. All right, so that's it right there. Take my timer, hit start, that way I can keep up with it. So we know that we're gonna go ahead and cook at least one hour, but I can't remember if one hour is gonna get these cooked down to where I want. I wanna finish these things out where they're nice and tender like you would do pulled pork, so around 200, 205 degrees. So you usually get about one hour's worth cooking with these charcoals like this right here. So if it's not where I need it, then I know I gotta start another batch of charcoal in about 45, 50 minutes into the cook. Okay, we just set the vegetable oven right here. Just put the charcoal on it so we've got six across the bottom. I didn't even count the top, but you can see we've got one full ring across the top right there. And then the extras again, I just throw out there to the side to help add a little extra heat. We've been running 30 minutes for the pork ribs. Let's go ahead and take a peek at them. Oh yeah, cooking in nice. We've got that nice simmering action now. Man, it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lid 90 degrees, put it back on, let her keep on cooking. I'm gonna close the lid up of the grill. Helps contain all that heat right inside there and blocks the wind from uh, blowing on the charcoal. All right, so let's go ahead and check our pork. We've been running for 55 minutes on the pork right there, and man, it smells so good. I can smell the barbecue simmering in there. Let's take a look at it. Get in there and uh, let them see what this looks like as I lift the lid. Oh yeah. All right, so I've got my thermal pop here, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and check a couple of them. And we're there. Look at this right here. We're at 205, 206. So that's exactly where you want them, right there. So this is good to go. I'm just gonna leave them there because our veggies should be done here. I'm gonna let them go for another four minutes. Let me show you that right here. Abby's veggies. Ooh, smell good. Smells great. So those are probably going to be done here in just a few minutes. They don't have to be overcooked. So this is about done. We'll probably meet you inside and let you know how it tastes. All right. Well, dinner is served and it came out excellent. There's uh, there's there's the ribs as finished right there, cooked in the uh, barbecue sauce. It always thins it down, and I just love it. Here's my plate right there. We have one of the uh, pork ribs right here. They're nice and tender. You can just use a fork to cut it. Just like that, there's a little piece. It's excellent. It's got that smoky flavor, the smokiness from the pit barrel. Of course, we've got our seasoning on there, and then all that KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce cooked around it too. It's so good. And then of course, again, I got the rice and the onions, and I like to take the sauce and pour over the rice just like that, it's so good. So there's Abby's veggies. There's Lola always hanging out, watching us fix our food. But Abby's got her refried beans going. She likes to make burritos, veggie burritos. So refried beans, vegetables of all different types. It's good. We're gonna have our dinner. This is excellent. You gotta give this a try, it's good.